Hi Mavens! So I've got a treat because I'm finally going to be revealing something that I've got so many questions about. And it is the Luminous Air airbrush system. Yeah! So I will be showing you how I went from this side, which is still my beautiful flesh, to this side that's got this really pretty sort of glow and shimmer in a very minimal amount of time with just using a few products. I'll give you my pros and my cons and let you be the judge of you know if it's something that you want to invest in or not. So stay tuned. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and you can always follow me Moco Makeup on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and of course YouTube. So stick around. I'll be right back. Um, so let's just get started. I had seen this, uh, what do you call it, infomercial for forever. And I have several professional airbrush machines. Actually, I have three. And I kept getting people saying, is the Luminous Air good? How does it compare to the professional one? So we are going to find out. And I know the Luminous Air has been out for probably five years now and I kept thinking well I don't need to buy it because I already have several but here we go first of all when you get the luminous air um, if you get the kit it comes in this pink box you get this silver container and the silver container has um, a space for your actual airbrush colors here and then this is a little extras box that they give you um, like some uh, bronzer and like a moisturizer pearlizer the moisturizer I didn't use to be honest with you but that is the bronzer here and then this is like this sort of pearlizer which is like a white sort of color um, they also give you the actual airbrush unit itself. So it's a little white unit and it's got, I mean, it's so it's like against my lights. So you're not going to really be able to see well, but it's got this on the bottom here, this uh, on and off button that you push when you go to use it. And then it, so this is called your compressor. Um, and then this itself is called the airbrush gun, okay? Um, it also came with a DVD that you're supposed to watch before you use it and it gives you all of the instructions on how to apply it, how to clean it, all of that good stuff. Um, so what I want to do is kind of go over the compressor first and the motor first. Now on my normal um, airbrush machines, the compressor will have levels of um, force. Some of them have a dial, some of them will have a button like this, but if you press the button a certain number of times, it will give you a certain number of pressure. This, the Luminous Air one, kind of took that confusion away and it's just got one force or one flow of air, one pressure. When you turn it on, see, you can probably hear that. It just has like a little humming sound and it's an on and off button. It's not a on level one, level two, level three, level four. It's just a one, one button. The other thing too is as soon as you push the on off button, there's already flow coming out of the gun. Now on a traditional um, professional airbrush machine you push the on off button and then you control the amount of flow that comes out um, this one the air is already coming through so I noticed when I tried to do my airbrush on myself using the luminous air system that it automatically started blowing color on my skin the other thing is when you use this trigger here the trigger, the further back you pull the trigger, the stronger the color will be. So if you only pull the trigger a little bit, you get very light coverage. If you pull it back all the way, you will get sort of a fuller coverage. So um, those were some of the differences that I noticed just with the, the compressor and with the, um, the gun itself. So the next thing I think I want to do is try some foundation. 
Okay, so I'm going to use UF6. I'm not quite sure if the shade is my exact shade, but instead of doing a bunch of mixing, I thought I would just try like a base color and see, you know, how that looks, if it's really orange or red or whatever. So I'm going to shake it up. You always have to shake it up because color separation is very common with airbrush makeup. Um, shaking it up, and then I'm going to just add, let me see, one drop, two drops, three drops, four drops. I probably don't need that much, but because I've never used their airbrush um, colors, I'm just going to see. So I push the gun on, the, the compressor on. There's already airflow coming out the gun. There's no color coming out, but there is airflow coming out. So I'm just going to start. Let me take my ear off. Let's see. So I'm only using it a little bit. I'm not pulling it back that much. I'm pulling it back very lightly. Um, the color is... It's a little on the light side. I probably have to mix it with something. Yeah, it's a little gray. Let me cut it off. I'm going to add some UF7 in there. Maybe that'll give me a little bit more warmth, I guess. One, two, three. I just put three drops of UF7 in there, which is the which is one shade darker. So let's try it again. Turning it on. Just pulling it back very lightly. What I do notice is that you kind of have to be careful how much you pull the thing, the, the trigger back. Let's see. And I'm only going to do one side because I really do want to see the difference. Now off the bat, what I will tell you is that on the infomercial, it says you only need like three drops or so. And I'm finding that in order to get I mean, I've got kind of light coverage on now, but the color match is not 100%. It's definitely a little bit orangier, I guess. Um, I, could I wear it and be fine with it? Most likely. But it is a little orange. So, hmm. Let me put a little bit more of the UF6 back in there and see if I can lighten it. So I'm just going to do one two more drops of the UF6 just to see if I can balance the color out some and I'm only pulling the trigger a little bit it's not terrible um, it is a nice sort of supple finish the color match is not 100% even though I've kind of mixed the, the two colors that are closest to my shade. They're not exact, but I could work with it. Um, I do, however, want to try the bronzer. And I have to tell you, it's really pretty. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see, like, it's got a really beautiful golden, like a deep golden finish. So I just want to try this. I'm going to do one, two, three drops and see what it does. Okay. Making me, you know, a little golden. Um, it's giving me a little... So the bronzer is you probably can't really see it did give me a little bit of a glow let me do a couple more drops one two Let's see if I just want to have like a glow to my skin
I mean, I'm see that right there? I kind of pulled the trigger back too hard. So a lot extra came out. Don't judge me, okay? Hmm. Okay, maybe. Maybe. So as I'm looking at the sort of quick results, I'm not going to go so far into it because you kind of get the concept, but as I'm looking, I don't think it's terrible. I like it. For an airbrush system that simplifies usage for the average woman to be able to get that flawless finish that we give a lot of our clients, I think it's actually a really good system. Um, I do notice, however, the foundations are thin and on the infomercial it shows like oh you just use four drops or three drops and you can do your whole face that I don't buy because I don't have bad skin like I don't have any makeup on this side of my face I have unevenness just because I've been at the beach and stuff like that but um, I'm still needing to use several drops of the makeup itself Okay, so if I did a general overview of my thoughts on the Luminous Air, A, love the packaging. I think it is extra convenient because once I unplug the compressor and the airbrush gun, everything gets uh, stored. Sorry, something dropped. Everything gets stored in here. So if I'm going to, to travel, if I'm doing anything I can just put all of those units together into that one bag that I think is amazing um, if I talked about the color range the color range for the darker skinned color is pretty good um, I like for him to have a little bit more yellow or like a yellow additive so that I could have made it match the regions of my skin better but all in all it's not bad um, I do like that the compressor is, it can fit in my hand, um, and I do also like that you don't have the pressure option. That's when it gets confusing. If you're not a pro, it can be confusing. So I think not having a pressure option is really great for, you know, like an everyday user. Um, I also like that it came with this CD, this how to use it, how to clean it. All of that is on the CD here. So I think that they did really great trying to make the product something that's user friendly. Um, oh, and, and it came with the blush. I didn't do the blush because I did so much bronzer. The bronze of, of everything, I kind of feel like I like the bronzer and the shimmer the best. I would use that on, in my other system because I like the golden, there's like a really beautiful golden glow. I really, really do like that. Um, the, so my only complaint really would just be that I would like a little bit more yellow in the foundation colors just so that it matches my skin color better. But all in all, I think I'm going to give this like an, a 9 out of 10. I think it's really good. Um, I didn't clean the, the unit yet. I'll do that with some water and some alcohol. But this, the gun here is identical to the kind of gun that we will use um, when we're using our pro system. So you know as far as pulling the, the, the trigger back and the more you pull it back the stronger it gets I think that's good too the only reason that I didn't give it a 10 out of 10 is because the foundations themselves although they do need to be very thin any airbrush foundation needs to be thin in order to travel through um, and marry the air and come out on the other side it all has to be really thin seem to be a very concentrated formula I feel like in order to get a fuller coverage so for someone who's got you know acne or scarring hyperpigmentation whatever I feel like you'd actually go through the foundation very quickly so in that regard I'd probably tell you to look into maybe um, a temp to airbrush formula or a um, an OCC or a Ket or a Mac um, or a Denaire, which is another brand that's been out for, they were one of the first ones to really, really venture into airbrush 
40 years, whatever it was ago, 30 years ago. Um, so I would probably change the, once I ran out of this formula, I would probably get a more professional formula because that will travel through also. Um, that's about it. I kind of like it. I really, I don't know how often I would use it. For me, this would probably be something I would use if I was not a pro. This is probably not something that I would use every day unless I got really acclimated to it and I was like, look, I'm going to airbrush myself every day and I want that flawless finish, then I would do it. Um, for me, I mean, I'm so used to like sponge and brush or sponge and foundation or whatever. It would probably go the other way. But I do think it's a really good product and if you've been interested in using it, I mean, at this point, they're like $100. I remember when they first came out, they were much more expensive. So at this point, for 100 bucks, that's going to be the price of maybe two foundations and a concealer anyway so just try it and see and of course if you don't like it you can always send it back but I do like that I've got like a nice I've got a nice glow I do I, I think that that looks really pretty and like I said the color match is not awful I think it's a good color match it's it's not a million percent but it is a good color match I don't think I mind that too much hmm so this is without it but you see how I've got so much yellow there? That's that's the only thing I'm talking about. It's just the yellow right there. That's without it, and that's with it. So it's not terrible. I mean, it's pretty good. But that's that's more me, and then that's more like with makeup. I'm sorry, I'm looking over here because my monitor's over here. But I'm just trying to see. Hmm. Not bad at all. Like, really not bad at all. I think, I think I would give this a thumbs up. I would give this a thumbs up and I would give this a go. So I hope I answered your questions, guys. It was pretty simple, but I hope you understood. And I will see you on the next go around. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. And let me know what you think. So I'll talk to you soon. Feel free to subscribe to MoCo Makeup on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Hey Mavens, stop by the Moco Makeup YouTube channel where this week in the Get Ready With Me series I'm talking about my Smashbox Primer, why I love it, how to use it, and why I think you'll benefit from it too. See you soon.